So here's the character I'm working on and I'm currently done with the topology of this character. If I just hide this here and move this over. So this is my topologized mesh and this is the sculpted mesh. If you take a look at this, you can notice that we have lost some of the details from the sculpt. We have lost some of the details around the eye, also around the armpits of the character. So the way to regain back those details, I'm just going to press Alt G to clear the location. And it's actually very simple to do. I'm just going to go under the modifier tab. I'm going to add a multi-resolution modifier and also a shrink wrap modifier. For the shrink wrap modifier, we're going to select the target object as our sculpted mesh. And then for the mortar rays, we're going to subdivide this a couple of times. Two times for this character is going to be fine. And if I just isolate this, you can really start to see that we have brought back those details that we lost from the sculpt. So at this point, you want to apply the shrink wrap modifier and you can then go into sculpt mode and also sculpt in more details on the retopologized mesh, just like so. Alright, but it's not every time you really want to keep the multi-resolution modifier. So there are two things that you can do here. You can either bake the sculpted details from the multi-resolution modifier or for this simple character, I'm just going to go the other route. I'm going to transfer the volumes from the multi modifier to our retopologized mesh. And it's very simple to do. I'm going to go under shape and I'm just going to click on apply base. So now if I get rid of the modernized modifier, you can already start to see that it has transferred the volumes that we have. And if I just add in the subdivision surface modifier, I think for a simple stylized character like this, this looks really good. But none of this is actually going to work if you don't have proper topology and if you don't know how to retopologize your characters properly. So watch this video and I'm going to show you how to properly retopologize your characters in Blender. I'll catch you guys in the next video.